morning, beautiful people. Just getting my day started. About to begin my morning meditation routine. And I decided to hit the record button so that I can share what my morning med meditation is like because it's not a traditional meditation, so to speak. But then um, we'll also delve into some questions because it was made apparent to me that there are some things we should discuss. Some questions around the nature of death and the grief response to death. My family has uh, recently experienced the loss of one of our patriarchs. And for my husband, it's been a major blow. And so the discussion will delve around my experience with grief, because I don't think I've ever experienced uh, the heaviness of grief in such a way. Like, not my own grief, but just the observation of someone else, someone else's grief and being empathic, being able to feel that, like palpably, being able to feel that heaviness of grief. And then even though in my husband's case, he has an understanding, a clear understanding of what death is, and the nature of this physical experience is still is still a draw on him emotionally in accepting what that grief is. So we'll get into that. But first, we'll do a meditation to kind of um, center ourselves in one accord. At least I'm centering myself on one accord. Taking a deep breath. And as I take these deep breaths, I hold in my mind the words, I am God. And on the out breath, I hold in my mind the words, I love. So I'm inhaling the statement or command of what I am. And on the out breath, I'm expressing the way that I serve. So the inhale, it's, I am love. Exhaling, I love. Again, inhaling, I am love. Exhaling, I love. Thank 
in one more time. Inhale the acknowledgement. I am love. Bring your awareness to your heart, the space of your heart. And just allow yourself to settle in the heart. And from here, we'll go into a moment of silent meditation.
And in this moment, we shall speak. The question has been posed. Why is the grief holds such an intensity over the physical form in the wake of death? This is most apparent in the way that you have come to view death. For you view death as a sense of loss, as an absence, as a taking away of a removal. A deletion from the realm of the physical, from the realm of existence itself. But this perspective holds great fault. And the reason for its fault is that you have not come and come into alignment with the truth of your being for you as extensions of the source itself are eternal you will never cease to be you have been created once and for all And by right of being, you never cease to be. You are infinite. Death, as it has become known in this physical space, is merely a transition. process of being birthed, so to speak, from one plane into the next. Those who have held physical form never cease to be. They have only chosen a new mode of expression. a new vehicle of expression, so to speak. This physical form that you hold is temporary. But the, but the point of our words is to help you see that Although the physical form will degrade and perish, you do not. But you must understand the nature of the you of which we speak. For you are the divine in expression as this physical form. You are not the physical form itself. As a divine being in physical expression, you under the privilege of free will, have the ability to choose the perspective that you wish to hold in any moment. 
you may choose to see yourself as this physical form alone. Or you may choose to see yourself from the higher perspective. When you choose to see yourself as merely this physical form, then you become attached to the limitations of the physical. You become attached to those things that are physical. And these attachments will take hold within your field of being. And because of the focus you've chosen to hold, when one of those attachments is severed, it leaves an emptiness. It leaves a, a fault, a neediness, something missing. that is not being filled. And the only way to soothe that neediness or that missingness is through acceptance. And acceptance is a choice. function in a state of unacceptance is to be filled with a sense of loss, grief, hopelessness, a limited sense of hopelessness due to due to the limited perspective of the physical form. That limited perspective that is made available as a restriction by this physical form. But when you allow yourself, give yourself permission to see from the higher perspective, understanding that which you truly are, the divine in expression as this physical form. And you come to know there's no reason for acceptance at this point because you have knowing. You know without doubt that which you are. You know, without doubt, the nature of this life, this expression. You know, without doubt, that there is no consciousness, no being that ever ceases to be. You know, without doubt, that there is never any loss. For all remains, it merely transforms in expression. You know without doubt that there is never cause for grief. There is no loss. There is merely that transition from one expression into the next. And you also know without doubt that that love healed between you and the deceased, for lack of a better word, you know that love remains 
love is eternal. That love is never severed. That love is never taken away. For you know from the higher perspective that this is the nature of existence, of being, of beingness. And just as that love remains eternally available, eternally connected, you retain access to the deceased just as you would as if you were, as if they were present with you. And even to a greater degree, because now that being is free to move and operate and flow without resistance, unhindered by the physical form. So the degree of access available to you, between you and the deceased is expanded exponentially, infinitely. For you come to know that they are always present, always near, ever available, ever speaking, without physical form, yet present and available as they always have been, unrestricted and unhindered. But in order to gain this perspective of death, as you call it, <laughs> in order to hold this perspective and this understanding of the nature of being and the nature of death, you must come into alignment with the truth of your own being. You must come to accept that which you truly are. For you are extensions of the source itself. The extension of love. the extension of the infinite, divine creator of all that is and ever will be. You are more than this physical form. You are a unique expression of the divine itself. Allow yourself to know this. Give yourself permission to own and embody this knowing. And see your perspective of death or the transition from one plane of being into the next. with new eyes. With clear and fresh perspective. With a feeling of lightness rather than heaviness. With a feeling of honoring and celebration. Understanding that that being who has transitioned, who is now as you call it, deceased, 
has served and served well and learned the lessons that they intended to learn while in this plane of being. That they have progressed to a new phase of lessons and that they are now open and available still present in the sense of offering love still energetically available as needed by you for they understand that the love remains. Allow yourself to hear, see, feel, and know These are our words. Wow. Guess that answers that. <laughs> yeah. That nature of life and our perspective of death. I think that's pretty clear. But if you have questions, please post them in the comments and um, I'll respond accordingly. I hope you enjoy your day. Namaste.